All right. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rachachachachachach. Double honors unto the elder high priest that taught my elder apostles at a great millstone. All right. Double honors unto my elder apostles and elder bishops at great millstone. Okay. Peace and blessings unto the elect, starting with the 144,000, as well as the one third of the nation of Israel. Okay. And this is the brother Atazaria from the great millstone Houston. And, um, I was reading Psalms 146 and I had a lesson out of that. I wanted to go in specifically to go into verse uh, four, where it says his breath goeth forth, he returned to his earth in that very day, his thoughts perish. Okay, which we'll get to that verse. But what it's saying is, uh, basically, Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Okay? And then it says his thoughts perish. Okay? His 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 spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father. Okay? But we'll get to that verse. But I I wanted to get that verse and go with Ecclesiastes uh 12. Okay. Uh I believe it's verse 7. Let me see. Cause I put the marker right here. Yep, uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7. Okay, so I was going to do a lesson on that, but at the same time, I wanted to go all the way back up to the top and start at the beginning. <clears throat> and as I was reading, you know, I read the whole thing. There was other verses I wanted to build off of too. So, you know, I just decided to uh, push record or the spirit had me to push record. So Lord willingness is edifying. All right. So without further ado, this is the book of Psalms 146 and 1. It says, praise ye. Oh, let me read the heading in my scriptures. Let me put these on. All right. Psalms 146. It says, the heavenly father is only worthy to be trusted. Okay. So let's see. This is Psalms 146 and 1. It says, praise ye the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Praise the Lord. O my soul. Okay. While I live, will I praise the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? And we are supposed to give praise and thanks to the Heavenly Father daily, you know, all throughout the day. The water, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Call halal, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Ba'ashem Rakah okay? All praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, man. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right? Ba'ashem Rakah HaKadash, which is... The Heavenly Father, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay? So, it says, While I live, will I praise the Lord, Yehovah Shem Shai. I will sing praises unto my power, while I, have, while I have any being. Okay? Yeah. As long as we're alive. Alright? It says, I will sing praises unto my power, you know, and we do that in the form of these lessons, okay? That's singing praise unto the Heavenly Father, all right? That's 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 a form of it, okay? Going out into the, the highways and, and, and byways, okay? Those, these are, are beautiful, because really singing the songs, psalms are supposed to be sung. You know, and these are true beautiful songs, okay? Unlike the, the crap today, like the scripture says, the daughters of music shall be brought low. Oh boy. Can't say this book ain't, ain't, ain't true, because that's definitely true. This stuff today if you is, is really just sounds. You really, you know, you want to call it music, you know, be my guest because a lot of it is just different sounds and, and it's all digital, you know. You be hard pressed, you know, to 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 find something with live instruments and an actual band playing a, a, 
analog, okay? Everything is digital, okay? And analog is actually better, okay? Versus the, the digital sound. You, we, we're listening to binary. We're listening to zeros and ones, okay? Ones and zeros, okay? Anyway, uh, bringing it back, Psalms 146 and 2. While I live, will I praise the Lord, Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai. I will sing praises unto my power, while I have any being. Okay? Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. Or salvation. That's what they got in the margin. Salvation. And this ain't talking about Yahweh Shai when it says son of man. Okay. <laughs> All right. It says, put not your trust in princes. Okay. Nor in the son of, of man in whom there is no help or salvation. Like the scriptures say, no man shall save you. Okay. Or no, well, no man shall buy you. In uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68, or save, okay? There's only one that is able to save, and that's Yahweh Shai. That's why that's what his name is. Yahweh Shai, he savior, or he deliverer, okay? Um, let me see what they got in here. They got a precept. Let's see what they got. All right. <sighs> Let's see what they got. Okay. Huh. Uh. Yeah. No, I'm not going to bring that one out. Okay. Let's see if they got anything else. All right, let's see. Yep, that, yeah, that's a good one. All right. Uh, let me see. Let me find a good spot to start. Uh, hmm. Let me get straight to the point. This is Isaiah chapter 2 and verse 22. It says, Cease ye from man. Whose breath is in his nostrils, for wherein is he to be accounted of? You see? So, we ain't supposed to trust in man, okay? We're only supposed to uh, trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? Let's go back. Let's see where we were. Okay, so let's go to verse 4. It says, His breath goeth forth. Okay, and that's what the lesson I was going to do off of, do. It says, uh, His breath goeth forth. He returneth to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Okay, so again, right here it says, His breath goeth forth. He returned it to his earth, okay? Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. And they got the precept right here, Ecclesiastes 12. Let's get that. Which is what I was going to do the lesson off of. But it was more in that chapter. I was like, man, I want to get all that. So here we are. All right. Or um, well, the Spirit had me to it, okay? Salakia. All right. Uh man's goings are not of his own okay uh this is the book of ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 7 it says then shall the dust return to the earth as it was and the spirit shall return unto the heavenly father who gave it okay and uh that happens to all man okay uh and we are the dust, because we was created from dust, 
from the dust of the earth. Okay, say that in uh let me see if they got the precept in Genesis. Yeah, they got it. I'll grab it. Crap. I should have cut that fan off. Let me grab it. Let's see. It's right here. This is Genesis 3 and verse uh, 19. It says, In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground. Okay. For out of it was thou taken. For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. You see? Got another precept in here. Let's see what they got. Yeah, I think they got that for the same one on the other one, too. Let's see. Uh, now, this one I wrote down. So, let me grab my apocrypha. So lucky. Let me get to the. That's why I be taking these glasses off, cause once you move, you know, get away from the book, it make you kind of you can't see. Uh, let's see what it was. Okay. Let me find it. Uh, okay, here it is. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 17 and verse 1. It says, The Lord Yahweh Yahweh created man of the earth and turned him into it again when you die. Okay? So we, we, we go back to the earth from which we were created. Okay? That's why, you know, they say ashes to ashes, dust to dust. You know, that's scriptural. Okay. Um, So let's go back. Where were we? Psalms 146 and uh, 4 again. His breath goeth forth. He returned to his earth. So putting your trust in men, these men perish. You see? We should put our trust in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. We should praise the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. <clears throat> and again, the headings say God is only worthy to be trusted. That's right. Okay. Uh, the scriptures even say it: all men are liars. Okay. And I, it says in the New Testament and in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, it says uh, something to the effect: I said in mine haste. All men are liars. I think it was King David that said it. And whoever's listening, they can look it up, you know, look it up and it'll stick better than me just saying it, you know. Um, and it should be it's worded just like that. All men are liars. Both verses. <clears throat> so let's uh, go back to Psalms 146 and 4. His breath goeth forth, he returned to his earth. In that very day, his thoughts perish. Okay. Uh, let me see what they got in here. Let's see what they got. Let's see if we'll bring this out. Okay. Yep. This is the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2. Uh... Hmm. I'll get straight to the point. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 6. It says, How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to naught. Okay? See, all of this, even the wisdom of this world comes to naught, but also the princes of this world, they come to naught. 
they perish, okay? As all men do, okay? So we're not to put our trust in them. They they can't save us, okay? Let's go back. Um, ooh, this is Psalms 146 and 5. Happy is he that hath the power of Jacob for his help. Whose hope is in the Lord, his power. That can only be the Israelites. Okay? Let me read it again. It says, Psalms 146 and 5. Happy is he that had the God of Jacob. I'm going to read it verbatim. The God of Jacob for his help. Whose hope is in the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh his power. Okay? The Heavenly Father is the power of, of the, the nation of Israel. Okay, yes, he created all the people of the earth, but he has a uh, special people to himself. Okay, Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 6. Okay, he and that people are the, Isra the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics. Okay, and the brothers and sisters that resonate with this word, that believe it to be true. You may look like another nation because we've been scattered. I always quote the book of James 1 and 1. All right. To the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. All right. Because we're scattered. We, all, we, we look like all the nations. Okay. So look in a particular type of, type of way. Don't necessarily mean you're not an Israelite. Okay. You believe this truth. You happy you believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and able to call on them names and can follow along and understand you is you a Hebrew Israelite. And uh chances are you are the elect. Okay? Cause even you got Jake that, you know, look like the typical Jake. Okay, that can't get this and ain't gonna get woke up. Okay? That's how the most high do things. Okay. This is only gonna be able to be easily understood to the to the to the ones that the Heavenly Father wakes up. To the ones he calls. Okay. St. John uh 15 and 16. Which that's in this uh chapter 2. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, where were we uh, in five? Happy is he that had the God of Jacob for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, his power. Okay. Let me do this. I should have had this other phone open anyway. Um... Bear with me one second. Okay. <clears throat> this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and 7. Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and whose hope the Lord is. Okay. Period. All right. So let's go back. Psalms 146 and uh, 5. Happy is he that had the power of Jacob, okay, for his help, whose hope is in the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, his power or his God, which made heaven, okay, and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth troop forever, okay? Y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai did this. Not no man on earth. That's why the heading of this chapter is saying to trust in only the Heavenly Father is to be trusted in. Okay? Only. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, what they got in here?
Yep. Yep. Let me see what I can see. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 14 and verse 7. Saying with a loud voice, Fear the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and give glory to him. So that he, for the hour of his judgment is come, and worship him that made heaven and the and earth and the sea and the fountains of water. Everything. Okay? And who's going to be able to save in that time of that judgment? His son. Yahweh Shai. He's going to send his son to save a remnant. Okay? Let's go back to the book of Psalms 146. Um, uh, where were we at? Okay. I'm just reading something to lock you. Let me read this again. Uh, Psalms 146 and 6. Again, this is raw. This just I read the chapter and I was like, let's do it. And I'm doing it raw. So, <laughs> you know, instead of sitting there putting all the precepts together and all of that, we just going through it together. Okay, it's like a study session. All right. Uh, so where were we at? Psalms 146 and 6, which made heaven and, and earth the sea and all that therein is. Which keep it true forever. All right. Let's see. They got a precept. Uh, Micah 7 and 20. Let's get that. See what it say. Okay. Hmm. You know what? Let's start up some on this. Uh, in this. Uh chapter let's start at verse 18 this is the book of micah 7 and 18 it says who is a who is a god or power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage mm. he retaineth not his anger forever be see and that backed up what i the, the, that proves what i said Okay, because it didn't matter what I said until it was proven with the scriptures. Now, okay, who's going to be able to save in that day? All right, Micah 7 and 18. Who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity? Because the elect is going to get pardoned of their iniquity. They're going to receive that thawa, that mark of exemption. Okay, why must they be pardoned? Because we all go off. There is not a righteous man that do it good and sin it not. Okay? So those iniquities have to be pardoned. Meaning, the Heavenly Father is going to make it as though they never took place. See? Ain't that special? Yeah, even the, the icebox had to do something on that. The refrigerator made a noise. Okay? And that's an understatement saying it's, it's special. Like, how can you even put, you know, it's wonderful, great, I mean, and all the rest of the synonyms, okay? Uh, who, uh, so, uh, so, Micah 7 and 18, who is a God like unto thee, or a power like unto thee, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that pardoneth iniquity and pass it by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage so who, who what's all this stuff about a rapture and, and jesus coming back and saving people just any old whoever followed jesus this is telling what it is right here who's gonna receive salvation the remnant of his heritage who is his heritage jacob the DNA ain't never changed. I have to start pulling this scripture more. Okay? 
Micah 7 and uh, back in, in verse 18, he retained it, not his anger forever, okay, because the Lord is merciful, okay? Look at that shit. I'm just sitting here talking, my other phone picking up everything I'm saying and is is going across the screen, man. This shit is wild. And I didn't even have a screen unlocked. It just, the, the, the phone was black screen. It just came on. I always feel like, <laughs> you know. Um. So he retained it, not his anger forever. Back in Micah 7 and 18, the last line. Because he delighted in mercy. Ooh. He delighted in mercy. The scriptures say the Lord's uh, mercy is, is his majesty. Okay. You know what? Let me look it up on this phone. Let me do this. It should come right up. Let's see. Let me do this. Majesty. There you go. This is it right here. The book of Sirach 2 and 18. Saying we will fall into the hands of the Lord. Yahabashim Yahabashai. And not into the hands of men. For his majesty is. For as his majesty. For as his majesty is. So is his mercy. So back over here. In Micah 7. And I can pull it up like this. Micah 7 and 18. It says, because he delighted in mercy. Okay. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. Who is the us? The nation of Israel. Starting with the elect. He will subdue our iniquities. And thou, and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. They ain't never changed. Okay? They ain't never changed. Let's go back uh, to the book of Psalms. 146. I think we were in verse 7. No, we were in six. Okay. All right. So this is verse seven, which executed judgment for the oppressed. Who is that? <laughs> Shit. Okay. Which giveth food to the hungry. Okay. And we receive, you know, spiritual food, man. Okay. In the form of this word, this understanding. Okay. Ye that hunger, ye that thirst. Okay. Oh, the Lord is the bread of life. Okay. Amongst other titles. Okay. Excuse Salakia. All right. That's that old apple I ate. Uh, what the hell was that? In seven. Yes, Psalms 146 and 7, which executed judgment for the oppressed. Yes, he's going to avenge us, man, okay? All of the wrongs that have been committed against us, it's going to be one day where the judgment is going to go forth for touching, for many atrocities, one of those atrocities is touching the apple of his eye. Judgment, there's, there's a repercussion for that. There's a judgment for that. The Lord is going to avenge us. Okay? By sending his only begotten son, Yahweh Okay? This, we believe that. Shit. To hell with this damn place. And, and, and the people, you know, because Jake want to go vote. Putting their trust in man.
146 and uh, 7, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, looseth the prisoners. Okay, that's us. Okay, we were all, all spiritually bound. But what the scriptures say, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. That's knowing and following after Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. Okay. Because he is the way. Okay. He's, he's the door. Okay. And without the Lord, there ain't nothing shaking. He is also worthy to be praised. My goodness. Um, verse 8, which this is another verse. I wanted to do a lesson on this, but here we are. Okay, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai opened the eyes of the blind. We were all blind. Okay, oh, in the book of Romans it says, uh, and the rest were blinded. Let me get that scripture. Let's go to Romans. And that scripture I was quoting earlier is Romans 3 and 4. Let God be true and every man a liar as it is written. Okay. Uh, what scripture was I going to? Oh, the rest were blinded. It's a lie here. Okay. Romans 11 and seven what then israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for but the election hath obtained it and the rest were blinded okay and they're gonna remain blind okay they're gonna stay in the congregation of the dead okay meaning they don't have a spiritual eye self to see the understanding of what this word is talking about Unable to get the understanding of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. Hey, the scriptures say, let the blind lead the blind. Or, or that the uh if the Salaki, if the blind, if the leaders be blind, they shall lead their congregation in a ditch. Okay? Blind leaders of the blind. Okay? So they're gonna both fall in a ditch. Okay, meaning they're, they're set for destruction. Okay, and as, again, we were all blind at one time. Okay, until the Lord called us. And that's why I quoted earlier St. John 15 and 16. Okay, he called us. He woke us up. Okay, through the preaching of the word. All right, uh, Romans 10. Okay, through the unicorn. That's what the apostles was uh, going into in their lesson. Okay. The unicorn horn. The internet. All right. That's how we got unblinded. That's how we were able to see. Because we heard the word through the world wide web. Which the heavenly father set up to do all of the heavy, heavy work. So you don't have to jump on the plane and go to New Guinea. Okay. I believe it was. <laughs> okay. Anyway. Where we at? Oh, in verse 8. Psalms 146 and 8. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai opened the eyes of the blind. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai raises them. That are bowed down, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai loveth righteous. You see, the Lord preserveth the strangers, he relieveth the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked he turned it upside down. And that's what the Lord is doing right now. Since this word has gone out, this place has started going down. That's why I say in the book of St. Matthew. This gospel shall be preached throughout all four corners of the earth, man. 
then shall the end come. You see, he's turning the wicked upside down as we speak. Okay? Beautiful. Verse 10. The Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall reign forever, even thy power, O Zion. Who's, who is Zion? To Zion, monument. That's Israel. All right. Unto all generations. Praise ye the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord willing, this was edifying. Okay. I got me a little something out of it. Okay. Because again, this was raw. Just was reading, and the spirit got on me to just put it on wax. <laughs> you know, so again, Lord willing, was edifying. I'm going to close until the next time I say Shalom.